One of the places I really wanted to come to when we were coming to Nartrang is the Louisiana Brew House. Really love trying the local craft beers wherever we go, so we're gonna go and have a look. The bar's located on the main strip here in Nartrang and actually it fronts onto the beach. set up inside with a brewing as you speak. This joint's really big actually, it's a really big area for people. Love the fact that there is a pool here. It's one thing you'd never see in Australia but I've seen here in Vietnam and in Bali is a pool at a bar. It's quite strange. In Australia, they'd be too worried about someone joining me. Okay, so I've got the menu here and the beer menu at the Louisiana Beer House. They make a few of their own. They make a Pilsner, a wheat beer, a dark beer, a passion beer, which I assume Becky may try later. Mm -hmm. Got the red ale, the pale ale. So I've decided to start with the 4x200 tasting paddle, which is 150,000 or about $10 Australian for 4x200ml samples. So. We'll check them out and see how we go. And I've just found this, the Louisiana Signature Beer Cocktails. The Honey Brew's got a wheat beer, Jim Beam bourbon, honey lime, Ooh, I and think, I can't say that bitters. I think I'm going to have to try one of them. A tequila shandy. That sounds interesting. Okay. All right. We may be in for a big afternoon. <laughs> we should have bought more money. <laughs> oh, we always, comes your tasting paddle. We always have a card. <laughs> here comes the tasting paddle. Mm. Thank you. Whoa. Thank you. Looks good. Okay, so we've got our tasting paddle here and we're going to try the dark ale. I like the dark ale, it's good. I'm a big fan of dark ale, so we'll see what the next one brings us. Next one's a pilsner. Becky's trying the pilsner. It's actually not too bad. Okay, this is the wheat beer. Wheat beers are one of my favourite beers in the world. I love them. I have a lot of them, like the European ones, especially the Bavarian ones. Nice and fresh, crisp, hint of fruit in it. It's my favourite so far. My turn. I'm only a newcomer to beer, so only what three years I think I've had a drink of beer for, so oh yeah, that's definitely the nicest of the ones so far. That's actually really nice. And now we've got the red ale. So Multi, uh, not a bad looking head on it, so refreshing as well. My turn. I think I'll stick with the what's it called? The wheat beer. Yeah, that's definitely my fave. Cheers. We've got a pretty extensive menu going on for beer and food here. I've got to say, by Vietnamese standards, they're definitely Western prices, like the grilled combo platter featuring pork and barbecue chicken, German sausages around $70, Australian rice paper rolls, 
around twenty dollars. Surf and Turf Australian Tenderloin around seventy dollars. A T-bone, 500 grams, 1.3 million, which would be around $70, $80 as well. So yeah, so the prices for it are definitely up there as Western standards. you find a pizza here is about $18 as well. So, look, so I think you're definitely paying for the quality, hopefully, but um, not sure we might order something later so you can have a look at what we get. So I just ordered a couple of the wheat Louisiana signature beer cocktails. I'm going to have the honey brew, which is wheat beer, gin beam, honey, lime, and Agostura bitters. So here we go. Our specialty beer cocktails have arrived. Rebecca, time yes. to try the caramel macchiato. With beer. With beer. Actually really good. It does need a little bit of a stir though. I think all the clue is at the bottom. Okay. I'm gonna have a go. It's just on me, not on you. <laughs> it's quite refreshing. Your turn? Oh. Yours is, yours is a bit different. <laughs> Let me try. You're going to be feeling this or the couple of... Swap. Swap? Swap. What was this one called? The honeydew? Was it? No. Was it? Now we're going to have to have a quick check. look again. <laughs> Honey punch. No. Honey punch? It Honey brew. It was called the... The honey brew. Honey brew. The wheat beer, gin beam, and bitters. I like it. Yeah. I can taste now, the gin beam. I can taste the bitters. Try mine again. I can really taste the clue in that oh, now, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Right. Oh, these are a winner. The winner oh, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> mine's a winner. I don't know about that. <laughs> Okay, so our meals have just arrived. We thought they were actually quite expensive for starters and some fish tacos, but now we can see why. So these were 160,000 and I thought I might get three, four, but I've got eight. And Mark got his fish tacos, how much were they? 210. 210, which is about 13, 14 dollars Australian. So yeah, actually we're really happy with the price. It's not as expensive as we thought. So now we're going to tuck into some of this food and uh, see what it's like. Yes. What sort of sauce? Uh, soy peanut. Soy peanut? Yeah. I've got a bit of salad, I've got a bit of tomato salsa it looks like. A bit of tomato sauce. Mm, the pickled Three vegetables. Three really big fish tacos. Rebecca loves the pickled vegetables that you get in Asia so yeah. let's try those suckers. Let's try one of these fish tacos. Really good. I always say when you're near the ocean, you should order fish. So, fish tacos, really good choice. So, we're going to finish off our meal and beers here with a banana split. It's not something we normally have, but Rebecca likes a good banana split, so <laughs> we're going to try it out. <laughs> I'll have the fork. Uh, give it a go. Oh, God. Butchering it with a fork. <laughs> <laughs> Good banana split. <laughs> Yummo!